Hi there, this is Adam Jones. We're down on the Wolf Rock Boat Company stand here at Southampton International Boat Show, and I am joined by Paul McCarthy, the owner and director of the Wolf Rock Boat Company. How are you, sir? Yeah, good. Nice to see you. Good to see you as well. You had a good show so far? Fantastic show so far. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. been uh, really buoyant, really good. It's great that we've got the weather back, isn't oh, it? Thank God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's been a pretty windy and rainy week. The boats are all still here. And what I wanted to do is just grab Paul to just pick his brains on some of the brig boats that we've got back at the show this year. We've said it in a lot of videos, but brig are back. Really is the case. Let's look at the Eagle range that we've got at the show. So what have we got behind us, Paul? Well, so we've got the flagship here, which is the Brig Eagle 10 which uh, I was fortunate enough actually to go down to the south of France when we first launched this boat probably about five years ago now. It, it uh, an absolutely spectacular craft and we're so pleased to be able to have one on show here and very thankful to the owner that's lent us this boat for the show. Yeah, it really is a striking example of the Brig Eagle range. When you see one of these in person, it's huge, isn't it? And I think two, three fifty duo props on the back. It's pretty much as fast as you would want to go on a on a rib. Um, there's loads of features. What's your favourite feature of the Eagle Ten? God, where do you start, really? I think what's uh, what sets this one apart from all of its competitors is this is a genuine day boat. It's a genuine sporty day boat. So. Yeah. What I like about this is the big beam on it. Yeah. Uh, the fact that you've got almost two rooms when you're just sat. You can sit around the table at the back. You can sit around the front on the sun deck. Yeah. You can lose eight people on this boat. Yeah. So it's just the, the sheer size and the beam on it compared to its competitors. And of course, all the features that it has. I mean, it's even got a two berth cuddy. Show me another boat, let alone a rib on the market that looks as good as this. Yeah that it's got an overnight facility, yep. um, electric toilet with a holding tank as well. Yeah, it's it's pretty spectacular. And like I said, you do actually have to see how they've utilized the space on these Eagle 10s. I think that's the console doesn't look that much bigger than an Eagle 8, and yet somehow they've managed to get all of that inside it, which is amazing. And it does double up. The sun pad on the front gives you an extra space to sit before you then infill and turn it into probably the biggest party pad on a rib, I'd imagine. Yeah, I think there's a lot of thought. I think also what, what happens is when you design a boat just to be an Eagle 10, yeah. you know, I, I think there's so many boats that would be in competition with this where they're trying to get two, three, four boats out the same mould, the same consoles, they're the same diameter tubes and width of hull from six to ten metres. Yeah. This is a standalone craft. Yeah. There's nothing in this boat which fits another boat from the brig range it's all designed and built for the eagle 10 yeah so when you look at it and it looks right that's, that's the right. reason yeah yeah you know and it's and because we're a worldwide manufacturer we've got some economies of scale in this business which trust me not many people actually have yeah that we can produce a boat like this as you see it this boat is a mere two hundred and twenty thousand pounds which is you know, a fair amount of money, but in its class, it's exceptional. Value. Yeah, yeah, totally agree. Exceptional. Value. Totally agree. And we'll, we'll touch base on the way that Brig build boats and what they're doing in the factory a bit more as we go along, because Paul tells me these things, and then sometimes I can't regurgitate them in quite the same way as the man that has been around Brig boats for 15 years now and, you know, been in the UK market for a really long time. So I'm going to pick your brains on those things. Um, so that is the Eagle 10, and it is well worth coming to have a look at. Um, just a few of the features, which I'm sure Paul will pick up on now as well, with table at the back. Like I said, it does feel like three different rooms almost, this boat. You've got space up there for a, a cooker, fridge, a true day boat. Like you said, it's an amazing piece of kit. If £220,000 is not the ballpark that you're looking at, but you're also looking at other range boats in the Eagle range, the next one down is the 8. Let's talk about the Eagle 8. Well, the Eagle 8 uh, motorboat and yacht, sports boat of the year in 2021. Yep. Um, won the equivalent award in France. I can't remember what the name was <laughs> in France. So this is a multi-award winning boat. Yep. Uh, in my humble biased opinion, obviously, <laughs> if you've got this kind of money as your budget yeah. for a day boat in the UK, this is the best boat in the park. Yeah. Not the best rib. This is the best day boat at the boat show. Love that. Bar none. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar none. The features on this, windless as standard, yeah. electric head as standard. Uh, what you've got, she comes obviously with hydraulic steering, 
how we rig it all as standard. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and some incredible features in this boat, really. Fantastic. So talking about the rigging, we've spoken about the Wolf Rock Way a few times, yeah. um, and it's something that we maybe throw around in the videos a little bit, but tell us about the guys in the workshop and how they will take one of these boats that has obviously been built out in Ukraine and what we do on our end when we put them together. Well, so obviously it comes to us on a curtain side of lorry. Mm -hmm. It takes about five days from Ukraine to get to the, um, to get to the UK. Even how we build and pack these boats so it's efficient when you when we transport them some people ask me why the eight don't have the fiberglass cone ends it's yep. purely because it then that extra few inches we can't get them in the crates if we're packing them in containers to ship them around the world makes perfect um, so sense. that's also part of our thought process yeah I mean, we're not called rigid intelligent boats for nothing it's not a gimmick <laughs> trust yeah. me yeah we can see how the ukrainians are going about their business with their fight against russia yeah these are bright people and they're bright people when it comes to building building boats absolutely i mean it is it is astounding isn't it the quality of ukrainian built boats and i know i've got it on my chest at the moment the ums boats are in the same thing and that's a yep. separate video you need to have a look at those they're also built in ukraine i think the way that you guys have stuck with ukrainian brands because you know of that quality even with what's going on in ukraine at the moment um is awesome and i think you were saying it earlier on i think sums it up when we were speaking to the guys from brig it's amazing to see the loyalty of the brig customer sticking with this brand through what's been a pretty tough 18 months absolutely yeah yeah the customers have been fantastic yeah it's yeah. awesome and it's great to see the boats back so that's the brig eagle eight um squared can, off bow we haven't talked yeah, about yeah you can see it i mean this is how actually you know the dry ride is because look you've got probably over a meter here yeah and of course this is not just a power boat that's had some tubes put around it with a pointy bow yeah you know this obviously costs more money to design and make the feature like this but yeah. this works when it's going through the water and the and the spray's pushing up this pushes it away we've yeah. also got the stainless steel anchor there for the windlass we've got a, a nice foot plate on the top with some cleats on it which yeah. is quite important to get in and out of the boat it's worth saying as well that ribs and paul said this to me a lot of times but ribs are measured obviously from the nose to the back of the tubes squared off nose means you're getting a little bit more space on your boat so really is a true eight meter uh, yeah eight meter boat with that squared off nose if we had a pointy bow we'd be an 8.2 meter yeah and if we had pointy tube ends we'd be an 8.5 meter yeah i mean that makes this boat even better value for money than it actually says on the ticket. You're selling it to me now. You know, selling yeah, we well should me. be looking. Yeah. If you're looking at an Eagle Eight, look at the competitors, 8.5, maybe even nine meters. Some of them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this one, like we said, you've got a, a head as standard um, table area at the back of the boat. There is loads of space on here. Infill sun pad, as you would expect um, from this type of boat. Uh, on the console, Garmin is standard. You've got a long-term relationship with the guys at Garmin. It's on all of the Brig range, isn't it? Yeah, that's all we fit. It's Garmin and Electronics, Fusion Music Systems. Obviously, they all come with the Suzuki multifunction gauge, which yep. is a great bit of kit just in itself. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so you get some, uh, you get some consistency actually in the boats. Yep. So when you're bringing them back, uh, you know, actually because they're all rigged and built in the same way it makes a difference yeah. you know i had a customer a couple of days ago oh i want to go and buy my own trailer and save a few hundred quid actually we'll do a deal on the trailer don't go and do that yeah all the brigs are on sbs trailers yeah and the reason we do that because actually hey, it's the best trailer and they fit the boats properly we know what sizes of trailer that fits each of the boats yeah and a brig that's not on an sbs trailer it won't be worth as much money when you come to resell it and it won't look right. Absolutely, and that resale value is something that, again, I'm starting to get my head around more and more the more time we spend together, and that is the beauty of these brig boats. They they hold their value like pretty much no other boat on the market with the way the work you guys have done for the brand, and that consistency of output is really important when it comes to that buyback value. So, eight, 350 dual prop on the back, squared off bow, slightly smaller sister is the 6.7, which yeah, is so to your left. I mean, the 6.7 is, always has been probably always will be the best selling model in our range the yeah. old i got involved it's the old eagle 645 that became the 650 yeah this one around 20 23 years old this boat became the eagle 6.7 yeah uh yeah still in its class pretty much like to bet anybody it's the best selling six and a half meter sport rib in the world yeah um, even with what's happened to us over the last um, year with the factory. Um, again, 
There's nothing in that boat, seat-wise, console-wise, that is fitting in another brig. Absolutely, yeah. And that is so important. You've only got to go and look at the other boats around the park to yeah. work out, when you look at something, you go, that boat looks a bit long. Oh, those, that console looks a bit big in that boat. Yeah. It's because people are trying to save money that way. Yeah. Whereas we save money by building quite a lot of boats for the boat business. It's still only, it's still only probably 50 units a month or something on a 6.7 for yeah. a worldwide market, probably less than that, 40 yeah. for a worldwide market. Yeah. Um, so we have got some ex, um, some efficiencies, some economies of scale in our production. So that console, the reason when you get on that boat and you're like, this all feels quite nice and the right size because, yeah, that console is only built for that boat. It's yeah. not built for three boats. Yeah, no, absolutely. And that makes a big, big difference. And also the way the consoles go in the brigs, they're, they're separate, aren't they? They fit into the deck of the boat. Well, the, the, the bottom half of the console, you're right, is actually part of the deck moulding. Yeah. So I remember when I first started, I was buying some other brands, which I won't mention, but I was uh, sick of flexing and stainless, lots of stainless steel screws putting the consoles to the deck and the same with all the jockey seats and the seating yeah with um with a brig actually the seats there's engineered fixings in the floor that we bolt the seats to so all the seats go in the same place we yep. can move the seat forward and back slightly but not not a great deal and then with the consoles on the eagles the uh the deck molding so the bottom half of the console is part of the deck molding right so again that makes it easy for us to transport because we're taking the consoles out of the boats but yeah. it means then you you actually bolt the console to the to the top half of the deck molding yeah. so there's no screws there's no sicker flex yeah and guess what you know they don't fall out and you get a nice solid a nice solid fit makes yeah. makes the world a difference yeah absolutely and you can definitely notice that when you're on these boats so in terms of what we've got at the show so we've got these in the custom black um, colorway over here and on this side we've got some of the boats we've already talked about but in the classic bimini gray tubes white gel um what boats have we got on this so we've got an eagle eight 6.7 so on this side yeah i mean people on the stand actually think they're completely different boats we've got a a custom t-top um, black eagle eight on the other side here we've got one of my favorite boats which is the classic eagle six uh, with a bimini top Eagle this eight, would sorry. be uh, Eagle Eight, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah, classic Eagle Eight with a Bimini top, Suzuki 350. Um, this would be a a prime example of how yeah we would have it as a stock boat, and the majority of the boats that we actually sell would either look like this or like the look like the custom. Fantastic. Well, I think the main message for this video is firstly, bring her back. We've said it enough times now, and we're so pleased to be able to say that. We've got all of the boats here right the way from, there's an Eagle 4 in the corner over there, so from small all the way to the 10. And as you can see, you've got a man in Paul here who knows what he's talking about when it comes to these boats and has been around them for a long time. So if you're in the market, you want to come down and see these boats, we've got an Eagle 8 and an Eagle 6.7 on the water. We've got all of these boats to have a look at, and we've got the expertise of the team from the Wolf Rock to be able to answer any of those questions so all i'd say we've got a good weekend of weather come down and say hello definitely come down and we've also looked it's a really good time guys to actually look at i'm um, changing your boat so if you've not got the budget or you don't want to spend the money on a brand new boat come and see us still over the weekend we've got some great boats on our use on our use board yeah we've taken boats back Look, as part exchanges literally this week. Yeah. You know, there'll be deals today that we'll be doing, taking back part exchanges that will be on our boat on our board. And what's the nice thing about it this time of the year, you can bag yourself a nice one owner boat yeah. for a really good price. We've got two Eagle 6.7s. One of them is a 2020, it's only got 40 hours on it. I know, amazing. You know, we yeah. supplied that boat, we know the history that's still got warranty on it. Yeah. Um, so now it's a really good time. If you're not in the market for new, still please come down and see us because we've got a boat for everybody. I love that. Well, there's the message. I don't need to say any more. Come down and say hello at Southampton International Boat Show. Great to see you, Paul. Uh, and you as well. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Hope to see you soon. Take Cheers. care.